Hey folks, Brittany Moran here from Video Guys. Just wanted to pop in and give you a heads up on the new promo we're having on the Grass Valley ADVC G1 for $949. The ADVC G1 is an any in to SDI multifunctional converter or up converter. It has frame synchronization built in. The ADVC G1 is a wonderful tool in houses of worship, schools, boardrooms, and digital signage. It's great for anyone using legacy equipment to convert to a modern HD SDI workflow. Our friend Sean Lamb from Streaming Media created a tutorial on how to use it. Let's have Sean introduce you to the product. Grass Valley markets this converter as an any in to 3G SDI converter, but specifically they mean it's an HDMI input, DVI input, and analog video input converter. So the DVI I stands for integrated, the I part of it. And integrated includes both analog and digital, both single and dual link DVI standards. So the DVI digital side isn't too terribly exciting. It's very similar to HDMI. Um, but for me, the exciting part is the a side, the analog side, because it can be converted to VGA input using a very simple adapter like this one here that has DVI on one side and VGA on the other side. This slide here lays out what Sean talked about with the inputs HDMI, component, composite, S-video, analog audio, AES, EBW, DVI, and reference in. The unit does have a frame synchronizer for full format support and up conversion to HD, SD, SDI in 3G or 1.5G. Now Sean will tell us more about the signal processing of the ADVC G1. There are a few different options available in terms of signal processing and two of the interesting ones are a 3D NR, a 3D noise reduction. And so this is really useful when you're working with compressed codecs um, generally on playback from a non-live source. If your source camera is a small sensor type of camera, a third inch sensor, or if you're working in high gain or high ISO environments, or even when you're up converting from uh, an analog source to that digital or um, frame size, all of those scenarios can produce a little bit of noise or a lot of noise when you're uh, up converting and processing. So using a bit of noise reduction really goes a long way and it's important when you're uh, webcasting especially because you're using a very uh, small bit rate and compressed codec high compression ratio and the more noise takes away from your details the higher signal to noise ratio the better the second image processing feature is image enhance and that's a detail enhancement it increases the sharpness and so you don't want to be using that in conjunction with a high noise environment but if you already have a very clean signal to begin with that's noise free you may want some additional sharpness in there Here's the unit. I wanted to show you all the inputs and the LED indicators. Here you can see the HDMI, DVI, analog connection. Next, Sean will show us the unit with the LED indicators with these inputs are active. The Grass Valley ADVC G1 converter has a variety of different inputs on the front here. And the active input is selected on the back. We'll go into that in a moment. There's dials and dip switches to, to control the settings, but the active setting on the front is indicated by an LED light. It's solid when that input is active and stable, and it's flashing when you've selected that input as your input of choice, um, but the input is not stable or not there yet. Uh, there's also a light for the up conversion. Uh, there's video input lights and audio input lights that uh, indicate whether the signal is stable, uh, selective but not active yet, um, and if the up conversion is turned on. Finally, the back of the unit, where there are two rotary dials and dip switches to configure the inputs and output settings. There's a handy reference on the bottom of the unit to show how these dip switches work. Here's the final clip of Sean to show you how these work. On the back of the converter, there's three things I want to talk about. The first is the locking mechanism on the power adapter plug. So I can't unintentionally pull this out, but if I retract the sheath here, it pulls out fairly easily. The second thing I want to talk about on the back of the unit are the audio and video select buttons located right here and here. Uh, these are dials that need to be manually turned using a precision screwdriver. And the reason we have these here is because the unit does not have an auto detect or select feature and there's no external buttons to uh, toggle between the available inputs. 
the inputs, uh, the cheat code for that is on the back of the unit here. So it, it walks you through which inputs are available, and which num number they correspond to. And finally, that brings us to the third thing on the back of the converter, which is the uh, selections for the dip switches. Now, the dip switches allow you to switch signal processing. So whether it's the uh, output resolution you want to adjust or the signal processing like image enhancing or noise reduction, those are controlled in the back here. ADVCG1 is as versatile as it gets if you need to convert your legacy equipment in either a house of worship, school, boardroom, or digital signage to an SDI workflow, the ADVCG1 is the right product. At a $949 promotional price, you'll want to order now while supplies last. I'm Brittany from Video Guys. Thanks for watching. Video Guys is available Monday to Friday. Give us a call 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter to stay connected with all our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.